Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Jay, the Moto Marauder, back again with another video. As you guys can see, we're not on the bike today, we're not doing a moto vlog. Um, I've been on an E46 fix the past couple of days since we went to the drag strip like two days ago. I've been on a fix, I want to either make the Marauder into a drag bike or pick up another bike to go on, go down the line, go down the lane with. Or, and I also need to work on my car because winter is coming and I can't really and since I'm now working hybrid and probably going to work full time in office again I need a daily vehicle because it's it will snow a lot here and in the snow and ice I can't really take the Marauder been working on the E46 I've been doing many DIYs today so you guys probably this is like mid day mid doing work everything as you can see I removed the seats we'll get to that in a bit so far today I've made sure the coolant doesn't leak again doesn't leak Hopefully it doesn't leak again. <laughs> if it does, then I need to see. I'm guessing if it does leak again, it's probably the water pump. I'm not sure. Hopefully it doesn't. So that's that. Uh, as you guys can see, we swapped out the steering wheel. This is the old steering wheel in here. I love this one, but it's torn up. So I'm gonna try and redo the steering wheel in like a new wrap. Try and dabble with that. If I can get that to work, this steering wheel is going back in the car because I can't really afford the M Sport one right now. And this one's like the next best thing in my perspective. So if I can get this one wrapped or do the wrap myself, clean it up, make it look a bit more brand new, that's perfect. About that, and we went to the junkyard the other day, got some new mirrors, these are power mirrors with a new switch. The power mirrors on my car don't work, so fingers crossed this works. I just need to paint them. We do plan on painting the car in a couple of months, so probably gonna be installing them then or painting them black for now with some dip and putting them on and see if the power mirrors work. Then when we get to painting, we'll paint it all together. The grills are out because they were on with zip ties. The clips on those are busted, so I'm going to be ordering those soon too. Since it, since the car doesn't leak, the engine is perfectly fine. I've been maintaining that for a while now. As, so the coolant doesn't leak the, and we deal with the paint, this car is still a perfect daily car. So the reason why we removed the seats, if you guys want to see that, I have some DIYs I just did uh, today. I'm going to be posting the stuff on on Instagram too, maybe on my bike page. I might be starting up a new page, I don't know for sure, but we'll see. The reason I did that is if you remember a year ago in the winter time, the car developed mold. I cleaned up all the surface, I didn't clean the interior though, like beneath the seats. I finally got time to remove the seats and honestly, very nasty. It's seriously nasty in here. So what we're doing today is we're going to vacuum this up. We're going to vacuum it up with the good old Bissell. Then once it's all vacuumed up and it's all good, we're going to hit it with a carpet cleaner and we're going to use some this is all oxy clean with a refresh with gain so it'll give a nice smell on the interior and the machine we're using it's also a Bissell, it's a little green pro heat pet steam cleaner thing we use this because we have our dog she usually makes the couch is very dirty with her paw prints and dirt so every two weeks or so I steam I clean up the couches that we have upstairs where she usually likes to lie down and sit and chill so we're going to use this when use that we're going to use a vacuum and give this whole thing a little clean I don't know how much of this I'm gonna record as a montage I need to get the headpiece to put on my head for my action camera so it makes it much easier to record So we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're gonna vacuum this up. All right. Here's an update. I got through the majority of the dirt and grime that's in the seats, but in the carpet. Now I'm gonna hit it with the steam cleaner and that should probably pull up all the extra dirt, the mold, and also whatever dog hair is in here. Because this was the car we used to bring my dog in a lot in so there's dog here and I don't have all the specific tools to clean it all up so I'm gonna spray it with the steam cleaner with the carpet cleaner stuff and let it dry up and I'll show you the end results this is the end result now this is good enough for now I'm going to be doing this another time in like two or three weeks with a more of a deep clean. For now, it's so much better than before. So, I'm going to put the seats in and we should be good to go. Yeah. 